Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'll be going over all the essentials that worked for me during my entire pregnancy. I am now 37 weeks and some change. Very close to the end, just like two or three more weeks, hopefully. Just wanna share all the stuff that helped me um, along this pregnancy and hopefully it should help you too. So first and foremost, um, definitely prenatal vitamins. Uh, make sure that the nutritional facts include folic acid because um, I think that's one of the most important um, ingredients in the vitam prenatal vitamins since it helps with brain development and um, for the fetus. So prenatal vitamins, take it every day. And then for me, um, I also have iron supplements. This is just, these are over the counters by the way. I just got it at Target or CVS. Um, for me, I became anemic during pregnancy. It's actually very common. Um, I wasn't anemic before being pregnant, but during pregnancy, I became anemic. So my doctor recommended I take iron supplements. Um, it's just 65 milligram. Um, and again, over the counter, but these are my two things that I take daily. Right, so next I have a bunch of belly butter, belly cream, belly oil um, that I started using in the second trimester. So once your belly starts pushing out, expanding, um, your skin is stretching. So for me, I got really itchy and um, was trying really hard not to scratch it. And you should try not to scratch it because then you can develop um, some scars and um, you don't want that. So just make sure you're always moisturizing your belly with um, all these stuff. So the first one that I have here is the Burt's Bee Belly Butter. And um, obviously this was well loved. There's barely um, anything left. But this has shea butter and vitamin E. Um, it helps with moisturizing. It's best to always apply all of these right after you get out of the shower when your skin is still moist. Um, so it can get really into underneath the epithelial skin. And um, so that way they can trap all the moisture in as long as possible. So this is a really great recommendation here. I really love this. Another part of Burt Bees is this Mama's Bee. It's oil. So this is the butter and this is the oil so i use both of them i put probably this first and then i just slather extra oil on this one um i love the smell of this one this has like a citrusy lemony smell in it because i think it does have some lemon it has sweet almond and lemon oils in it along with vitamin e yeah and it's very hydrating so i love this this is actually my second bottle already i also use this belly butter by earth mama and um i like this belly butter a little more than the Burt's Bee belly butter. Um, they're both very good. I think this one stays moist longer, and I, I um, and this, but this one feels a little lighter when you're putting it on your um, skin. It's not as thick as this, but um, either way, they both work great. I love them both. I've used both of them. They're pretty much almost empty. So I actually didn't have any stretch marks the first and second trimester. So I really thought I was gonna get away without any stretch marks during this pregnancy but no that was not the case um around third trimester all these stretch marks just came out of nowhere like um just one day it all appeared um because my belly is just stretching out to the max and um there's no magic cream out there that can prevent stretch marks it's just there's no magic cream or butter or oil or anything out there that prevents it if your body has never stretched out this far ever in your life, that's just how the skin works and that's how you get stretch marks. So it is what it is. You know, it's part of pregnancy. Um, may maybe not for you, hopefully. Maybe not everyone will get it, but I sure got it. So um, after all my stretch marks came in, I got this. It's Body Boost Stretch Mark Butter. Um, it's supposed to help with the stretch marks. Um, not to make it go away, but just with the um, collagen and elastin in it, it just helps tighten up your um, skin cells and underneath the epithelial and the dermis underneath to kind of just try to, you know, contract a little bit um, to get it together. But I mean, the, once the stretch marks are there, they're there forever. I mean, they, they start out, you know, red, but then afterwards they'll just become like silvery. 
you know, stretch mark colors. It's a very thick consistency and it kind of smells like um, clay. But it does feel uh, soothing once you put it on though, on, on the stretch marks. So and it does help for you not to scratch your belly when it gets itchy. So definitely a recommendation. And by the way, everything I'm talking about now will also be linked below. Most of these I got on Amazon and then some I just got at the drugstore. Another essential for me was a heating pad. This is just a generic heating pad with different um, heat level settings on it that you can adjust. Um, this was helpful for me for first trimester especially and then also third trimester. Um, I got a lot of lower back pain during the first trimester and um, it kind of came back in the third trimester because of all the extra weight that I'm carrying so my lower back so this um, was in was pretty sore not like painful but sore and this kind of helped with that um, just about 15 20 minutes a day or at night before you go to bed um, it helped for me so. so you don't really need a wardrobe change during the first trimester because you're not really gaining much weight the fetus is still very very tiny um, I didn't start showing until four and a half months in so almost like um halfway like around 17 to 20 weeks was when i started showing and that was when my pants were just not fitting and um it's maternity clothes are expensive and um especially for work wise at the office so it was very hard to um shop for that one because i didn't like some of the styles and two it was just really expensive and i didn't want a whole entire new wardrobe just for maternity clothes so these pant loop extenders came in handy like really handy so these are two different sizes this is was when i was probably second trimester and this helped more for later third trimester but they all they both stretch like this and um, if your pants have like a button a loop you just put that in and the other way so that way you're not zipping up your entire um zipper and then the button, you don't button your pants because this just helps extend it. And the way to cover that is obviously to, you can't wear anything, any tops that you have to tuck in your pants. It has to be over your um, pants. And then you just have this cover, which is just like a tube, kind of looks like a tube top. But you cover this from your belly and then you cover it down to your zipper pants. And um, it helped a lot because I did not have to buy a bunch of new dress pants for work. So really, really big game changer. And they also come in white as well if you were to wear a lighter um, top instead of a black top. But yeah, super helpful. Saved a lot of money so I didn't have to buy a bunch of maternity clothes. And speaking of attire for maternity clothes, these are the best tights ever for pregnant people i mean this is what i wore in the winter and this is what i switched out to same exact thing but just in a different color um for spring slash summer for work so um for these you just wear it under your dress you know just like regular pantyhose and tights they feel the exact same and however when you wear it there's this part in the middle that stretches out as far as your belly will go like it will just keep going and going and um, that way it's so much more comfortable because if you wear regular pantyhose or tights this area right here is so constricting um it's not comfortable so this is so comfortable it almost i forget that i'm wearing tights underneath um because it's not pushing against your belly or anything it just hugs this just goes over the top of your the very top of your belly you have the fundum and um, this part just stretches out beautifully and it's just so comfortable and you know what um i'm definitely going to wear this still even when i'm not pregnant because i feel i feel like first of all they're so cheap they're such a cheap investment the quality is very good and i can't go back to normal um tights anymore because normal tights are so uncomfortable and this is perfect so like during the holidays or when you want to overeat at a buffet or whatever it'll just keep stretching to accommodate with your belly so another common symptom during pregnancy is that your gums are more sensitive and um, prone to gingivitis so just make sure you keep up with your brushing and flossing yes floss any type of floss as long as you're flossing um 
flossing is so important during it um, because your gums get so sensitive and then I've noticed that it also bleeds more so very very prone to gingivitis and you don't want any kind of like dental complications when you're pregnant um, which by the way you should all also have at least one cleaning during your pregnancy every you know once every six months so keep up with the flossing because um, that way it'll prevent gingivitis so I had to get bigger size shoes to accommodate to the swelling um, because I can't wear flip-flops to work all the time. It would be nice if I could, but that's not the case for um, a desk job. But um, at home sometimes, I'll wear compression socks. So I think compression socks help. This is just um, my snowboarding socks and um, they help with the compression. So that and to elevate. And then I also got swelling in my hands. Um, obviously my wedding rings don't fit anymore. They haven't fit since like second trimester, um, but the swelling has actually gotten a lot in my hands um, lately. So um, I started to get numbness in my hands sometimes and fingers, and sometimes it'll be painful and it will radiate up to my um, forearms, and sometimes my entire arm would be numb. So the extra water retention in my hands are pushing on my veins. So now I actually have carpal tunnel syndrome, which is actually. <laughs> A pregnancy symptom that I had no idea I had until now um, but because I have carpal tunnel syndrome just in my right wrist I have a wrist splint so I try to wear this as much as possible especially at night because that's when it gets um, overnight when I wake up that's when it gets my hand gets numb so this is what it looks like yep so nothing no fractures or anything it's just a wrist guard splint or whatever you want to call it um, but it helps with the compression and um, helps alleviate the pain and the numbness in my hands and wrists and another thing is um, I got leg cramps here and there um, and um, it's, it's always in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping I'll just wake up and have like a charley horse so I have a foam roller with some ridges um, I try to roll it out after my leg cramps and they help a lot any foam roller works um, the one with the ridges i like it better because i feel like it gets deeper into the muscle um, layers but um yeah just any typical foam roller so i got this belly band um, it looks pretty intense but obviously you wear this underneath your clothes um, and you just wrap it around this goes behind your back for the support and this goes in front of your belly to lift help support the belly weight so it it lifts the belly up a little bit so you're not put, um, all that belly weight's not putting pressure on your pelvic area hips and um, your lower back so it helps um, bring up the weight a little bit so this is an option for belly band and I'll link another one below which is um, pretty much just like a thinner one just like this all around your um, waist so another thing that I have this is huge is a pregnancy pillow it's a big c-shaped um, pillow it's huge it takes up like half of the bed um, so yeah this is what it looks like but I'll just show you real quick here but I will link it below so you can see the whole image if you go to the link so the pregnancy pillow is helpful um, so you can sleep on your side because you're not it's not recommended to sleep on your back and actually once your belly gets bigger and you sleep on your back, it'll put a lot of pressure on your lower back and um, it just, it's uncomfortable. So with this pillow, it helped me stay to my side because I just, you know, subconsciously just go back on my back when I'm sleeping. So it's helpful um, and then it also gives you um, cushion between your knees while you're sleeping. So that's helpful as well and then you can use it to elevate your feet. Um, at night as well so that's all i have for essentials um these are what works for me hopefully it'll work for you as well if you're having the same symptoms and um yeah good luck with your pregnancy and thanks for watching